Hello and welcome to Online Honors Chemistry. My name is Ms. Verbruggi. I'll be your teacher for this first semester of the course. Um, the purpose of this video is just to introduce myself a little bit, show you a little bit about Canvas and how I'm going to be conducting this online course, and then also just showing you where to find your assignments, where to find what's due, where to find what you need to complete for Honors Chemistry to be successful. So to get started, um, as you know, we will be using Canvas this year. So when you log into Canvas, you'll see this dashboard. Um, your honors chemistry course is going to be this yellowish color with the beakers and the flasks and everything in the background. Um, if you click that course, it'll bring you to our class homepage. This class homepage is your landing page for everything honors chemistry. It'll have various things you can click on. It'll show you what you need to do each day. It'll show you everything you need to complete to be successful. So just a little welcome page, my name, my contact information, um, and then an overview of the course. So in this class, we're gonna be covering all things chemistry, looking at density, states of matter, looking at compounds, particles, structure, atoms, looking at all sorts of things over the course of the year. Um, as well as that, this class is gonna go a little bit further than our general chemistry class and take a deeper look at the science behind the experiments. We're gonna do more complex math problems, take a deeper look into reading of science, um, and really analyzing different lab experiments, analyzing why things work the way they do. Um, just as a little side note, Honors Chemistry is a very lab-based course. Being that you are online, you are not going to have that aspect of the course, and I'm still working through how I'm going to present that material to you so that you don't um, lose out on some of that important information. Um, so keep waiting for that. I am figuring it out as um, we speak right now. Um, so just keep a lookout for that, and I will keep you updated on how you guys are going to complete labs at home. So right under we have important documents and we have various buttons. Each of these buttons brings you to a different site. So this button will bring you to our class syllabus, our expectations, a little lab safety information which isn't super vital to you online learners, um, a little meet the teacher button if you want to learn more about me, a daily warm up button. You will be completing a daily warm up every time you log in for this class. Um, you'll have one a section and then also your current unit will bring you to where we're at currently. Right under there, this is probably one of the most important sections of Canvas, is your week in preview. This will tell you what you need to complete each day in order to be successful. As you can see right at the top, we have this color coding section right here. Um, please notice the colors. If it is blue, it, you, it is on, only an in-class assignment, so you, online learners do not worry about it. If it is red, only online learners are doing that, so that is important for you. That was a bad circle. And then if it is green, both in-class and line are working on that. So if we scroll down a little bit, you can see that um, this first week of school, Monday, August 31st, is an A-Day. One thing I want to mention, I think most of you online on nurse chemistry um, learners are on A-Day schedule, but even if you are not, you are going to be following the A-Day schedule. So all online honors chemistry learners, you are following the A-Day schedule. So on the A day, you can see that our learning target for the first day is that students will get to know their classmates and how to work in teams, but at a distance. The learning targets might not always apply to online learners. Once we get into more content-based learning, they will apply, um, but you're not gonna get to know your classmates because you are at home, unfortunately. However, these activities will apply to you. So this first activity, this green warm-up button, as you can see, it's green, so both in-class and online learners are gonna be using that, and it is also underlined. Anything that is underlined is a clickable link. So when we click warm-up number one, it's gonna bring you to where you complete your warm-up. So you're gonna complete your warm-up here. You're gonna submit it, answer the question, what's your favorite type of cheese? What's your favorite type of meat? Just to get to know you a little more. So that's gonna be your first task for the day. If we go back to our homepage, it'll tell you what else you need to do on day one. So, you unfortunately won't get to do the fire demonstration. Sorry, you can't do that at home, but you will be doing the get to know you activity as it's an online only activity. So if you click the get to know you activity, you're gonna be creating um, a PowerPoint, one to three slides only, telling me a little bit about yourself. Make sure you include your favorite hobbies, a unique fact, a future goal, anything about you that you think is valuable to know. So that's gonna be your first assignment. And notice, 
yet first assignment is listed under your due dates in the homework due. So notice here, it says homework none. That is for my in-class learners. Otherwise, here we have online. Online learners have the get to know you activity due September 2nd. So it is due your following class period. So it'll be due Wednesday this week. So make sure you have that activity done by Wednesday. It should not take you too long. This is how the majority of our week in preview is gonna be set up. So for the remainder of the week, you're gonna be doing warm up number two and then a what is chemistry activity and that's gonna be due September 8th. If you have any questions on this, please do not hesitate to email me and reach out. I am always available um, to help you out. So this is the week in preview. Um, as the year goes on, this week in preview will get longer and longer and longer, but the current week will always be at the top. Some other important things about Canvas. What we are going to be using most is modules. So everything will be linked to the week in preview, but everything else will also be in the modules tab. So under the modules tab, you have your important documents. I'll be slowly adding to these throughout the year. Um, and you also have your warm ups. So if you click that warm up button, it'll bring you here. You'll have warm up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all of the warm ups you might need. Um, you'll only be able to do one of those at a time, however. Warm ups will be worth points, so make sure you're completing those. Underneath your warm ups, you're going to have your units. So each unit is going to be a module, so as we add more units, this will get lengthier, but again, your current unit will always be at the top. So we're starting chemistry in unit zero, just as an introduction. How I'm gonna be organizing classes is by week. So week one, for August 31st to September 3rd, you have to complete these three activities. Um, so the first is that get to know you activity I just told you about, and then your what is chemistry activity, which I'll share more about in a video there. Your following week, you're gonna be doing an expectations assignment, um, and so on and so forth. So each week, under each week, you will have what is expected of you. This should actually be up here, sorry about that. Another thing I wanna point out, under each unit, you will have a unit overview. So if we click into that unit overview page, it'll bring you to what we're gonna be discussing in that unit. So unit overview is just a welcome unit. We're gonna be, um, learning how to navigate the course as teammates and peers as we approach a new way of learning. As we approach this new way of learning, I want to ask something of you that you are patient with me. I know we had a little bit of online learning last year, but it is all new this year since we are teaching in class and online. Um, it is a bit overwhelming, I'm not gonna lie about that. So be patient with me as I navigate this new type of learning um, and just, embrace the differences that might happen between online and in-class learning. So, um, yes, and then underneath here, this is the PowerPoint I'll be going over daily in class. You will always have access to those. So, for instance, the warm-up and the learning target, our demonstration, we're gonna do an activity in class about who am I, who are you? Um, but you guys are gonna be doing that online. Just as a little bit of extra to share about me, um, I did graduate from Aquinas College back in 2018 and I majored in biology and minored in chemistry. I went to Byron Center High School and I love playing sports, I love being outdoors, anything athletic, I'm really into that. Um, I'm a big family person, this is my boyfriend Corey, we've been dating a long time. Um, and my family, I still live with my parents. I love living with my parents because it's free and they make me dinner and it's lovely. And then this is my little brother, Andrew, although he is much bigger than me. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. Back forward we go. Some of my favorite things, if you're interested, but you probably aren't, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. I'm a big Netflix person or Hulu person. I love watching television in general. My favorite show right now is Blacklist. Um, I really like chocolate milk. I don't drink coffee, so you generally won't see me in the morning because you're online. But if you did see me in the morning, I generally drink chocolate milk every morning. I like running. I coach the cross-country team here at um, WAMA. I also like eating cookies, playing Foursquare, and I love Dr. Pepper. Although I only limit myself to one a week because otherwise it gets a little bit out of control. <laughs> So that's a little bit about me, a little bit about our Canvas course. Um, if you have any questions, again, please do not hesitate to reach out. You all have my email. You can all message me through Canvas. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I look forward to teaching you this year. Thank you.